Hey guys, I've recently been receiving a lot of requests for tutorial videos on how to play the Rav Vast and the Rav Vast 2, as well as other tongue drums. And this is going to be a multi-part series that talks about uh, playing position, ways to actually strike the tone fields, and also kind of evaluating the different scales and how they fit in with other instruments. So this particular tutorial is going to be about what the Rav Vast actually is, how it creates the sounds, and then some beginning work you can do when you receive your RAV. Uh, the RAV Vast is an instrument created by a man named Andre in Perm, Russia. And the RAV is unique from other tongue drums, like the Idiopan or Man of Stone, in that it has cutouts in the tongue. The tongue, rather than being one solid piece, has many smaller slits cut into it. And these slits allow for the tuning of the octave, the fifth, and then other partial notes in that as well. So rather than having one pure tone, just one piece vibrating, there's really six different portions that are vibrating on each tongue, creating a louder, uh, more full sound than just a standard tongue drum has. And that's Andre's main innovation. Another one is his very particular use of scales. This is a C Golden Gate Rav Vast II. Uh, however, from Golden Gate to Celtic to pentatonic scales are all available. Um, this one is a Rav Vast II, and the only difference between a Rav Vast and a Rav Vast II is the thickness of the steel. This is 2.0, and a typical Rav Vast is 1.5, which seems like not very much of a difference, but this just adds supposedly 25, 15 to 25 percent more volume to what you're playing. Uh, it's a little bit brighter sounding, whereas just the typical vast is a little bit warmer and more mellow sounding. And one thing to notice as well when you first open it up, uh, it comes wrapped in a really unique packaging, sort of a spray foam, and it's covered in a layer of saran wrap to protect it from the foam. So it's very securely packaged. When you do receive it, when you cut it open, I found that in the first few rabs, it took about two days for them to beginning to warm up a little bit. They sound a little less metallic after playing. So you'll hear a little bit more of a twang, or you might hear when you first receive them, but that mellows out after a week or a month or so. Um, let me show you a little bit about playing techniques once you receive the rap. Just so it's clear when I begin to talk about hitting different areas of the tongues, I want to be sure that you understand where I'm talking about. If I'm saying hitting the tongue, I'm really talking about hitting anywhere in this area. Uh, this is, to, to activate the main note, I typically hit around the V. And that gives you the main note, which is a C in this case, the octave, the fifth, and all the partials that are tuned into the other portions of the tongue. Um, and the same is true of each of the tone fields. Obviously the deeper ones require a little bit more of a hit to get volume than the higher ones. Uh, these, these are just innately more resonant. Now, the magic part of Andre's creation is that depending on where you hit on this tone field, you can create different sounds. So again, this is just a C. But I found to hit the side of the tongue, I can get the octave of C, which is this note right there. So again, I'm hitting this wing portion right here. You can actually hear as you hit this. This note's actually ringing in sympathetic resonance with the activated octave on this. Now, when I'm explaining it, if I'm saying to hit the wing of the tongue, this is the area that I'm talking about. The corner right between this little curl and the edge of the rav here. So that would be the wing for this. The wing for this would be on either side here. Or here. Now, another way to isolate the harmonics on this is to place your finger either between the V which gives you this sound. 
or place it to the right of the V, and that gives you this sound. Now, what's unique about the center tongue as well is that you can hit in this area up here and get a more percussive, higher octave sound. So, now that's activating the octave, the fifth, and the rest of the partials tuned to this. So, I'll give you an example of me playing without it and then with it. And now this is with it. Something good to practice as you're beginning to understand where to play on these instruments is just to start with the first note and go bottom note, note to the left, note to the right, note to the left, note to the right, note to the left, note to the right, center note. And just practice going up and down this scale, alternating hands as you go. Also try it in reverse. So, that concludes this portion of the tutorial. Next, we'll be talking about playing patterns and also the split finger technique. It's going to allow you to play more than one note at once. So, rather than just playing, you can split your hands. Thank you for watching, and if you have any suggestions for tutorials, please feel free to contact me here or at my email address below. Stay well, and I look forward to talking to you again soon.